Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at one of my favorite special locations for a very particular reason. I have the all new 2021 Toyota Sienna. Our particular one is a limited trim and I wanna dive into why Toyota is trying to make minivans cool again. But before we dive into this new fourth generation of the Sienna, let's talk about what's going on here. So like I just mentioned, Toyota wants to do something and they wanna do something that seems to be very difficult to do nowadays. They wanna make the minivan cool again. So the all new Sienna, fourth generation, is sitting on the, the global architecture platform, that TNGA platform, which means it's got a little bit extra width and what they were able to work into it is some actual body lines, some actual fender flare to make it not look like a rolling refrigerator. And I think that's what happened is, is that the overall shape of minivans, they just look like appliances. And Toyota says, you know what? Scrap it, let's go big or go home. But I'm telling you right now, the only thing that's gonna wanna go home is you're gonna wanna take one of these Sienna's home after you see just the versatility, the amount of room inside, the compartments, and then of course the great technology. Now, there's lots of different trims. You could start with LE, you could work your way all the way up to platinum, but we have an all new XSE trim, which I can't wait to get my hands on because that's an actual sporty minivan. It's got 20 inch wheels. First time on a Sienna to have 20 inch wheels, but this limited, boy oh boy, is it bringing a lot of class? Is it bringing a lot of luxury? And then of course, it's bringing all those great features that I just mentioned. So let's go ahead, let's dive into the Sienna and find out, is this the minivan that is making the SUV obsolete and making minivans cool and rule the school once again? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, this color sparkles like a ruby in the Florida sun, and you can see the new face. Now, some of the exciting news is all Siennas are hybrids, and the only thing that you need to choose, do you want front wheel drive or do you want all wheel drive? Now, starting up at the front of the business, the designers actually took the Japanese bullet train and brought that style into this vehicle. They wanted to make it look purposeful. They wanted to make it look nice and wide and sleek. These are words, these are adjectives. We're talking about a minivan. So up front, we have our all new headlight design. I really love the shape. Even the way they kind of cut a little notch so that the front fascia could fit nicely into that headlight housing. You're gonna have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps. I like this nice, almost brushed aluminum silver trim. It's not meant to look cheap. It's meant to add that extra style. We work our way down. You're gonna notice some design elements that mimic Lexus, which remember Lexus is the premium brand of Toyota. And it's crazy how there's a lot of crossover going on. You can see the really nice sharp body lines here. As it comes down, you're gonna have your LED fog lamps, some more of that brushed aluminum look around the surround, even a front splitter. Yes, you just heard me say splitter on a minivan that extends out we come across the front. This is really where you see that bullet train style to it. Gloss black, of course you have the blue. Whenever you see the blue, you know that's a hybrid. And like I said, for the first time in Sienna history, all of them are hybrids. You just gotta choose, do you want front wheel drive or do you want all wheel drive? Like the way the bodywork kinda folds down nicely and then you're gonna have these uh, horizontal slots, functionality up top, a little bit of a blocked off area, that's to help aer uh, you know, develop that aerodynamic flow. And as you work your way down, you do have a functional venting on the bottom portion. But you can see how far that lower lip extends out, gives it a nice purposeful look, not just a flat slab like a wall. Nobody wants to drive a wall around. That doesn't sound fun. Let's get up under the hood. Look at the way the hood meets nicely with that front fascia. Really clean, really simple. Body lines kind of curve up and then go towards the A pillar, but everything definitely has a flow to it, making it go down the side. Now, as we come around the bend here and we see what we're working with, on a limited trim, you're gonna get some bling bling style wheels. So these are hand polished. I've actually seen the hands that polish these. Hand polished aluminum wheel. You got this split spoke design that's an 18 inch wheel, 235 on the width, meaty 60 series sidewall is gonna give you a nice smooth ride. You can see the beautiful lines that we put into the fender. No flat black on the side, which I'm so happy that they did not do that. Look at the way they took the body lines off of the hood into the fender and then it disappears. It's like, wow, where did it go? Super clean. Color matched on the mirror caps. 
slim and trim on your LED turn signals, a little bit of flat black, a little bit of flat black. And if you're wondering, well, what is this? What is this little design here? This is actually to clean the airflow. These little vortex generators clean the airflow down the side of the vehicle. Now on the bottom portion, they did put a hybrid badge down there. I'm actually liking it. You know, normally when they put them that low, I'm not really digging it, but I think if you would have put it here, it would have stuck out like a sore thumb. Let's take that thumb, tuck it back in and put it down below. I'm really digging that side sill extension. It's not just a gloss black, it's actually a metallic. It almost looks like a bass fishing boat of a, of a nice little shimmer to it. Along the bottom portion, a little bit of chrome on our limited trim is okay. It blends in nicely with the wheels. Flat black along the bottom. And what I'm digging is check out the nice little boomerang shape with the brushed aluminum and it goes all the way back and then wraps around to the rear quarter glass. Now you are gonna have roof rails and I think it was kind of smart to make them start almost in the middle. Why, why get, make it look extra bulky? We're trying to make this minivan look cool, make it look aerodynamic. This is my favorite part right here. That flared out fender. Sitting on the global architecture, they were actually able to flare out the fender and give it a nice flow to the back of the minivan. And it really, it just all comes together. Look at this. Check out how they did the rear taillight housing. You got this piece that extends all the way, the other piece drops down, and then the bodywork fits in. It's, it's actually, I, I'm saying it's beautiful. Minivan, beautiful, look at that. Flared look here. You have a nice low roof spoiler, color matched on the Sharkman antenna. I wish, at least on the limited trim, they would have taken the wiper and tucked it up underneath, so I am gonna zonk that. If you notice, we have a camera up here. You do have the digital rear view camera, which is nice. That's where they mount the camera, nice and high, so you get clear view. And as we drop down, you get your tasteful Sienna badge, great looking taillights, limited badge, hybrid, gloss black, and guess what? You have your exhaust tucked up nicely on that passenger side, little bit of that brushed aluminum silver to kind of tie in all the pieces. But boy, oh boy, I like the placement of the Sienna badge here. It looks really clean. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk about fuel saving MPGs on the Sienna hybrid. All right, guys, we got the hood open. You do have a prop rod, but the good news is it's all the way over to the passenger side. Underneath that hood, look at how low the engine sits in the frame. That's gonna help with the center of gravity. But what you're looking at, like I said, is a hybrid across the board setup. You have a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four. That's gonna be mated with two electric motors. So you're looking at a combined 243 uh, horsepower and you're looking at 265 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 7.7 .7 seconds, top speed, 116 miles per hour. If you're wondering, well, what kind of batteries does this use? This uses the older style nickel metal hydride batteries. The Sienna weighs in around 4,821 pounds. It does use a CVT, but it does have a sequential uh, feature for shifting and regenerative braking. And then you could tow up to 3,500 pounds with your Sienna. And then MPGs, this is where you're gonna be the biggest winner. 36 in the city, 35 on the highway. Let me just put that into perspective for you. When I say 36 in the city, the 2019, excuse me, the 2020 Sienna, the outgoing last generation, generation three, that got 19 miles to the gallon. So you can see the major fuel savings you are getting with this hybrid setup. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what new changes are in store for this all new Sienna. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Toyota Sienna limited trim. I know you're at that point. You're like, Joe, I've been looking for an SUV for my family. I've been thinking that it's going to be a little tight on space. I've been told by my friends. I've been told by neighbors. Even the postman told me when he was giving me my mail, try a minivan. But I've been scared. I've been scared of the shape. I've had nightmares of driving around a refrigerator that had frozen chicken wings in the freezer compartment. Well, I'm here to tell you that Toyota has really done some great design. And if you're wondering, well, what's the MSRP on this whole deal? Let me break it down for you. Starting trim, that LE trim is going to be right around MSRP of $37,000. Platinum, which is one above our trim, is $51,000. That's where it tops out. We're in a limited, so you're looking right around $49,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. You are getting very tasteful two-tone material. You have the cream color up top, all soft touch. Then you're gonna get a little bit of a 
light beige on the armrest, which is also soft. No gloss black. You got a little Twinkie shelf right in the middle of the door. Two or three Twinkies, easy to grab and go. And then down in that bottom compartment, you could have two bottles of Mountain Dew. Maybe have regular Mountain Dew and a code nuclear blow up red or something like that. As we go from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material. Look at all this space. You actually have a shelf. They actually engineered a shelf here. And as you come to your all new infotainment system, you have a nine inch screen. So on the limited trim, nine inch screen, you can see we have navigation, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa, all the goodies there. Is it a touch screen? Yes, it's a touch screen, silly. Go into menu. You got all your different setups so we could get into climate control, control everything very, very easily. Go into our different options. You could sync everything. Go back. Let me throw it into reverse for you so I could show you the backup camera. There it is with the trajectory. The good news is it fills up this whole area. So I'm very, very happy about that. Put it back in the park. Little bit of silver trim and then guess what? Look at how the silver goes right into the switch gear for everything. You have your dual climate control, heated seats and ventilated seats. So thank you, Toyota. Wireless charging pad on this shelf. Plus they even gave you a USB here just for fun. That's what I'm talking about. Close that up. This is gonna control that CVT transmission. The good news is you actually have a shifter. They actually thought about this. They said, you know what? People find it cool to have a shifter and, it, and the position of it is actually perfect. Nice soft touch material. Look at this. Look at how I am. Look. Come on, Vin Diesel. You wanna race for pinks? Yeah. Two cup holders, one kind of odd shape, but the good news is you could actually take a Reese's peanut butter cup and just slide it in there with a bottle of milk. A little bit of gloss black. You do have drive modes, which is cool. And I'll show you more of that when you get to the driver's side. And then check this out. It's a compartment with your two cup holders. You got EV mode. I'm liking this trim. It almost looks like, uh, like the deck of a sailboat. And they actually took that into consideration when they designed this. That's why if you're saying, wow, that looks like a, the deck to a sailboat. Well, guess what? That's what they use. Check this out. Peekaboo, ICU, nice large area. You could put a purse, a sack, a satchel, a bag. You could put, go get a five pound bag of red delicious apples and just put them down here. Be healthy. And you got a 12 volt, which is really nice. More of that beautiful wood finish. Look at how everything's soft touch. And then thank you, no captain's chairs. What they did was they actually built the armrest into the center console and it's a fat size for fat arms like mine. So it's nice and wide. Open this up, look at that. You got two USBs. You can literally drop, I would say two boxes of Twinkies in there. Ah, what the hell, put a bag of Doritos. You're gonna definitely need some napkins or you're gonna lick your fingers and get beautiful, you're gonna get all those marks, those cheese marks all over this beautiful interior. But that closes up and then the seats. Tasteful, perforated, soft, obviously full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And then look what we have up front. We have a sunroof up here, which is a great size. No panoramic, but hey, the heck with them. At least you have your sun, your vitamin D up here. Up top, you have all the switch gear. I could open up the doors. And look at this. There's Lori with the camera. Watch Lori disappear, boom. Now we have a digital uh, rear view mirror, nice clear view for when you're navigating. And then if we wanna see beautiful Lori again, there she is smiling, I love her. Anyways, great amount of space. I'm six feet tall. I'm swimming in space in here. Why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind this leather wrapped steering wheel and the all new Toyota Sienna. All right guys, business time. You do have the two memory seat settings, which is nice. And I'm really loving the finishes everywhere you look and touch. You have a nice little shelf over here that they extended. This is where you could put your own Snickers bar or your own uh, Twinkie or Zinger or Funny Bone. Nobody's gonna touch it. We have the easy to get to buttons and switch gear. You have your switch gear for your power seat, make everything nice and comfy. New shape steering wheel. Love the leather, the perforated leather on the side. A little bit of gloss black, but the great thing about Toyota steering wheels, all the buttons are laid out exactly the same no matter what Toyota you get into so that you're familiar right away. And then we have that dash. It has a seven inch display in the center. And then you have an analog dis gauge on the left that shows you power, eco charge, coolant. On the right, you have your speedometer and fuel gauge. And then I could actually toggle through a cornucopia of different information in that center display, which is really wonderful. Makes life so easy to navigate whatever functions you wanna show on your Sienna. But while we get to the best part, let's get to that rear passenger area because that's where your mind 
is about to be blown. All right, guys, time to get into that cabin area for your passengers. Because we have a limited trim and because I have the key fob on me, watch this. Hands-free activation. Of course, you're going to have power sliding doors, and there's a plethora of ways to open them. That's just our fancy way because we have the limited nice grab handle, and you're just going to climb on in. What I love about minivans compared to SUVs is that low floor. So you're just going to basically walk right in. Backs of the seats, the leather comes all the way around. I love the large pockets. Put some books in there. Have your kids read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Beowulf, Tale of Two Cities, or you know what? Make them read a dictionary so they have some new words that they can learn. Look at this nice little command center. We have two cup holders, and then this guy right here, look at this, their own compartment. I'm thinking, get a couple Pringles cans. Two Pringles cans, you drop in there, boop, boop. Snack all trip long. They don't, you don't even have to, they don't even have to annoy you. They can just keep stuff in their faces, which is great. Close that up. Look at this, you got a vacuum cleaner that you could hook up here. You have two USBs, a USB and a USB-C, and a home power source. This is for the vacuum, so you can clean up all those Pringles, crumbs, and everything else. Seats. Just really, really comfortable. Obviously, they recline, which is great. And then watch this feature. I love this. Look at this. Boy, oh boy, I wish they had something like this in my mom's station wagon when we were all fighting for the back jump seat. This is ridiculous. I mean, I could just cruise have a chauffeur, and then you're gonna be fresh as a daisy when you get to your spot. Obviously, the seats slide. The big zonk is you can't remove them. So these seats are not removable like the previous generation. And then up top, you have your, seat, your AC controls. And it makes sense because AC controls up top with the vents. I got security shades so I could keep the peepers and the creepers out. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the third row and show where the minivan flexes its muscles. All right, guys, time to get into that third row. And this is really where the, uh, the minivan shows its muscle. Look at this. Seat kind of folds up there. We have a nice low landing. Climb on in. Look at this. Let me get the headrest out of my back. But back here, tons of space. It's like a living room. It really is. My knees are not my mouth. I have AC vents up top, cup holders. USB and a USB-C, plus these seats recline as well. And this is really where, like I said, you get maximum use out of a minivan. But let's show the cargo area because that's where it's even gonna get more impressive. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, time to get into the cargo area. Real simple, you press the button. My only zonk, it's a little bit on the slower side, but where there's not gonna be a zonk issued, check out the cargo area. So you can see how deep the floor is, you have a rear power source, so if you're going camping, if you're going to the beach, you have that power source capability, and that's what it, what's going to really allow the flexibility of this Sienna, all redesigned for 2021. I love this area over here. This is where you have your vacuum hose attachment, but you could fill this up with boxes of Twinkies. And then to put the seats down, you just follow the directions. So we're just going to pull, and then we're going to pull here. Look at that. If I could do it, anybody can. So you're gonna push that down, then gonna pull. Look at that space. Lots of room, nice and flat, really gonna maximize. Now the bad news is it's a little bit less space. So you're looking at about 100 cubic feet of space with those seats down and whatnot, but still a lot of room compared to an SUV. But let's get to the best part of driving the Sienna. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's see how it drives and let's take it for a spin. All right, guys, we are pulling away from our special location. Great visibility out the front windshield. And you know what? I really love the layout in here. Now, one thing I did not show you is the key fob. So there is the key fob, hybrid specific with the blue on the bottom and you have all the buttons to open up the, slot, the side doors and the rear hatch, of course. But going down the road, it's interesting because when you're just driving, you're not really thinking you have a CVT or anything like that. You're just driving down the road. The transition from hybrid power to internal combustion engine is very, very smooth transition. I like the way the door panels where you rest your arm are on the lower side. Side mirrors work great. 
And even though this infotainment system may not be everybody's favorite on how it's placed, it's a great size. What Toyota really knocks out of the park is the reach. It's really easy to get to, easy to understand, and that's what's gonna make life really great for you as you're driving with your Sienna. Now, like I pointed out earlier, you do have full EV mode, and you also have different driving modes. So you have sport, you have eco, and you have normal. So that's nice to be able to kind of tailor how you want the driving experience to be while you are driving your Toyota Sienna. But really smooth, very quiet. They retweaked the multi-link rear suspension, the suspension up front. So you're getting really nice ride quality and the great news to report everywhere you touch, nice soft touch material. It feels good and it's easy to access, or I should say access, where all those compartments are, especially the bridge section underneath the center console. Really smart use of space in here, and that's something you're not gonna find in just any minivan. All right, guys, we are gonna do an acceleration test here. Nobody coming behind us. I'm in sport mode. Give it some throttle, on throttle. So are you gonna win any drag races in this minivan? Not necessarily, but that's not the purpose of this vehicle. I mean, think about that number 36 MPGs in the city. That's where you're really gonna be the winner because guess what? As everybody else is pulling over to refuel, you're gonna keep on trucking and you're gonna get to your destination faster. And that means your kids are gonna be happier, which means they're not gonna annoy you. So that's a win-win-win, triple win, quadruple win situation. But going down the road, I'm telling you, it really drives so smooth and I don't mind that I'm in a minivan. I really don't because I know from the exterior, it looks sharp, especially from the side, really is changing the name of the game. And I'm telling you, if you've been cramped, even in your larger SUVs, drive this, pack your, your football team of a family into it, and you are gonna be really super happy with the overall experience. So hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what's going on with the 2021 Sienna. We're gonna get back to our special location and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another great day with this 2021 Toyota Sienna. I definitely gotta thank Zach, Michelle, Nikki, the whole crew at Toyota for getting us access to this total redesign. You could clearly see that Toyota has done their homework. They're not messing around and boy oh boy, have they brought cool to the minivan game. I can't wait to see the other trims and I can't wait to hear from you what you think about this. So put this in the comments, all your thoughts, drop them in the comments. But if you wanna keep seeing all new minivans going up against the Odyssey, going up against the Pacifica, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radius Rides merch. Gotta give it up to the queen of the camera, my beautiful, wonderful, intelligent wife, working that camera out here in the sun. That camera weighs about 30 pounds. So show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.